The name of this game is Angle Chase. In this game, you will find angles, then classify them. This game is best suited for players in third or fourth grade. The object of this game is to find angles with different measures. Classify them into one of the categories, acute, obtuse, right, or straight. There are two rounds in this game. In round one, you will need angle chase drawing paper, angle finder meter, a source for pictures such as magazines or grocery ads, a marker, scissors, transparent tape, page protector cut into angle chase game card size pieces, a dry erase marker, and an eraser. Players try to find angles of many different sizes in magazines and grocery ads. Once they find some angles, they need to cut them out so they can see the chosen angle and its context clearly. The background is helpful in showing where angles can be found, so players should show at least some of the area surrounding each angle. Each angle should fit onto one section of the angle chase drawing paper. Players tape their angles into the boxes of the angle chase drawing paper, one angle per box. Players need to find enough angles so that together they have found 24 angles. Players use the angle finder meter to classify all 24 angles. On the lines below each angle, players write the category of the angle and how they know they are right. Players cut apart the angle chase boxes to make playing cards for round two. Set up for round two. For round two, you will need the cards you made in round one, angle chase game cards, a page protector cut into angle chase game card size pieces, a dry erase marker, and an eraser. Shuffle the angle cards you made in round one with the angle chase game cards. Place them into a face down pile. Deal three cards to each player. Place two cards in the center of the table face up. The rest of the cards should stay in a pile face down in the center of the playing surface. On your turn, compare the angles you have in your hand to the angles face up on the playing surface. Choose an angle from your hand that fits between the two angles on the playing surface. You may trace your angle onto a page protector and lay it over an angle on one or both cards to compare. Capture a card with the next smallest measure if you can place your angle between two angles on the playing surface. You must play a card even if you cannot capture a card. If you play a card with the same angle measure as one that is already on the playing surface, you may stack your angle on top and collect a card with a smaller angle if there is one. Keep any cards you collected throughout the game in a pile near you. After you play a card, pick up a card from the draw pile. Your turn ends. Play moves to the left. At the end of the round, the player with the most captured cards wins. Here are some questions for discussion. How did you decide what category your angle fits? What features of an angle help you decide the angle category? Which category of angles is the easiest to find? Why? Which category of angles is the hardest to find? Why?